What's up, guys? This is Kirk D. Cam back here for a new episode of Will Descry. I figured I want to branch out a little bit, try something a little bit new. Um, episode 957 has got me thinking. Um, you can see, based on the title of this episode, that I'm going to try my hand at this conspiracy theory esque type of content and overall just very curious um, at the end of this is this the type of content you guys want to see more of should I just stick to my original lane of just doing reactions with Scryerman or just to the new episodes etc um, but I figured you know I want to give this a go and you could tell as I'm dawning on my inner Charlie day here with my hair and my tie and fun fact about this actually I haven't worn a tie in years my current role and what I do in marketing in general it's it's a lot more laid back and casual so I really had to fish this out of the archives and a little box I had um, in my closet and I actually have a, a fair amount of ties I kind of forgot how many I actually had um, so if this content is appealing to you guys, maybe I'll bust out a new version for future conspiracy theories. But with that said, jumping right into what I think was one of the biggest parts of 957, obviously there was a lot of stuff that happened, um, but I, I specifically want to focus on the death because I think that One Piece and Oda very much set the the content of this episode up to make it seem like Sabo was the one who died. Um, and after poking and prying and rewatching the episodes a couple of times, I, I just think that it's deeper than that. I, I think that's not necessarily the case, and I have some, some facts and evidence to um, back that up. And of course, this is a crazy conspiracy theory, so it very well could be wrong. So manga readers, please obviously don't spoil it for me, and if I'm an idiot, I'm an idiot. But who knows, maybe I'm actually um, onto something here. There are three main facts that I want to highlight coming out of the episode after rewatching. One. Morgans did confirm that someone did, in fact, die. That's very important. Two, there were multiple headlines that could have been featured, seemingly pretty equal in gravity across the board, right? Um, obviously, the death being one of them, the warlords being abolished being a huge one, and the fact that there were other things that potentially could have taken the, uh, the main headline and the main page outside of the warlords being abolished is really really important and three the world government wanted something hidden and I got to thinking I think that was the main point that really got the the wheels turning what would the government want hidden if they were actually trying to take down Sabo or if Sabo was actually killed don't you feel like that is something they would want to be displayed I mean Clearly, it had an impact on the revolutionaries, and clearly they did read something about Sabo. And I don't want this to seem like I don't think anything happened to Sabo. I think, I think Sabo is in some deep shit, um, but I don't think he's dead. Now, you may say Kirk, Dedan, and Makino were both bawling their eyes out at the news, which does point in the direction of Sabo. And again, I do think something happened to Sabo, but I think it's it's more something in line with the ace approach where it was leading up to an execution. He may have been captured. He may be held by Navy right now. And there's obvious signs or um, steps being taken to his execution, but I don't think he's dead. Now, tying back to point number one, someone did in fact die. Another thing that I think went under the radar was who around the world was distraught. There were some people that were cheering, some people that were afraid of what was going to happen because the warlords were abolished, but there was one specific area where there was a lot of people upset. And I'm pretty confident that was Alabasta. This is how I link all my dots. And all the little points and and info tidbits. Morgan's denied cover up of one specific article. And like I said, I don't think there would be any reason for the world government to want to cover up Sabo's death, but they would want to cover up a king's. 
and not just any king, the king who owns or at least knows how to access the great weapon Pluton. The king who is the father of the poster that Emu has stabbed. Someone did die, and I think it was Nefertari Cobra. I think Vivi's dad, at some point after the reverie, after he vouched for the the abolition of the warlords, something may have happened with him and Wapple, something may have happened that someone at the high up in the world government didn't like, but there were people crying in Alabasta, and the other big hint is Garp knew that Shirahoshi had some kind of relationship with Vivi coming out of the reverie and said that he doesn't want this news to take a toll on their personas of how real life exists above the surface. And the last thing that was mentioned was that it did involve Alabasta. Now, where this all ties together with the whole world government's plan, don't know too much about Emu, that tall imposing figure that sends chills down my spine whenever I see her, I think it's a her, I think most people think it's a guy, but I definitely think it's a woman. She just has that scary aesthetic that only a very imposing woman could bring, I find anyways. Um, and we know that she stabbed the poster of Vivi. I think Vivi is too critical to the story to have died. But I think Cobra knows about one of the great weapons. Not just I think. We know that he knew about the Poneglyph that Nico Robin had read back when she was in Alabasta at that time, way back then. We know that she just wasn't interested in, in the weapons, and she was more interested in understanding the, the, the history of the, the Dark Age, um, of, of the Black Century. So, we know that he does have ties to the weapon in some regard, and we know we're hitting a point, very critical point in the story, where these weapons are all coming to play. So with that said, obviously a whole lot of other crazy stuff came out of that episode, but that's a really focal point that I wanted to focus on because you know One Piece, if you don't see the body, you know they're not dead. And I think Sabo's too pivotal, pivotal to, the, to the story as a feature character to die. And while Cobra is super important with his ties to the, the weapon because he's a king, it would make sense that he is the one to have passed. So again, you know, I don't read the manga or anything. I could be totally, totally off and it could be Sabo and I could be looking like a dummy in a couple weeks to potentially months to potentially years knowing One Piece. But that is my theory. Like I said, guys, let me know if this type of content speaks to you, if this is something you want to see more of, if it's engaging. Um, just curious to hear your thoughts. But with that said, I am Kirk DeCam. And this is Will of the Scry.